Hey folks, JJ here coming to you from the downtown workshop of Julek Guitars in Cleveland, Ohio. And I did a video a couple weeks ago where I talked about finishing the insides of my guitar. And a few people, well, not, not a few, but more than a few people, asked me about what type of gun I use to spray the shellac, uh, the shellac that has the flatting agent in it. And I just use these little detail guns. Uh, this one happens to be from Stumac. Um, it's a great value and won't cost you a lot to get this gun. And I use it because it's very easy to maneuver, hold it, and get it kind of in those tight spaces with that guitar. Um, we're going to switch over and I'm going to show you actual footage of me spraying the inside of this guitar. So, let's get started. A couple things before we get into actual spraying. Make sure you tape off the top lining and edge of the guitar because that's where it's going to get glued when you glue the top on. Second thing is I'm going to be wearing a mask. Uh, I'm working in a really good spray booth but nonetheless I wear a mask whether I'm spraying a shellac, a water-based, solvent-based lacquer, urethane, anything like that. I always wear a mask. And the other thing too is that to set up this gun or basically set it up, uh, shake up your shellac flat solution really well um, when it's in the jar and then strain it before you put it in the cup. I use a fine mesh strainer which I get from Sherwin-Williams or a really good paint store. Make sure it's fine mesh. Uh, you can alternatively use a coffee filter, a paper towel, or even if you want to be so bold as to go rob your girlfriend's drawer at home, uh, you can use pantyhose. Uh, but uh, you might want to dispose of it after you do that. So anyways, let's get started with showing you how to do this. Now, uh, basically, I've got the, the, the gun. It's filled with shellac. I opened up the fluid valve about, I would say, two turns, and the fan width control about a half a turn to one turn. But basically, you just want like a, about a two or three inch pattern. So let's get started with spraying this. So we'll spray the first couple coats. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on doing the sides first, then I'll come back and spray the inside of the back. So here we go. fan running low, so you're seeing a lot of overspray. Normally the fan is evacuating and so forth quickly. But that's about the two coats that I'm going to apply. We'll allow that to dry for about 30 minutes or so, sand it back, and then apply the final coats. See you in a little bit. Now 
Now that glossy finish that you're seeing right now, that will dry back to be more flat, like it's doing right over there. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes and take another look at it. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes dry time, and as you can see, um, it's all dried back to a nice kind of dull, flat look. Um, it's looking really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand it with 320 and then some maroon scotch Bright, which is this stuff here. Just buy it as maroon scotch Bright. This actually is called Multiflex by 3M. And I like it a little bit better because it's a little bit more conformally. But anyways, let's get this sanded and then we'll apply the final coats. Okay, so this is dried about an hour. Uh, you saw that previously. Uh, and what I did was I sanded it with a little piece of 320 grit and this scotch Brite stuff, and I blew all the dust out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the final two coats of shellac. And I'm going to turn on the spray booth motor all the way so you won't be able to hear anything, uh, at least at me talking. And I'll be wearing my mask. So let's uh, get it all blown out or clean up, rather and we'll apply the final coats of shellac and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so there it is after a couple hours drying. Nice even sheen, looks good, not glossy. You can see all that beautiful figure of the wood still. And we're ready in a couple of days to brace the top and then attach it. Oh, by the way, it's perfectly safe to put a label over the shellac. Uh, I use fish glue and I've never had a problem with it coming undone. Over and out.